plagues had ravaged Egypt. The country was on the brink of disaster. Now Kaddish Baruch Hu says to Moshe, Oh, nega echad avi, there's one more plague that I will bring, and then Paro will capitulate, and Mitzrayim will let Klal Yisrael, will chase Klal Yisrael out of Mitzrayim. But before Makas Vechorus, Klal Yisrael must bring the Korban Pesach. They must shech the deity of Mitzrayim and take the blood, mix the blood from that offering together with the blood of the bris milah, of the circumcisions of the men, and smear that blood to, with the Akudah Seizov, with that special bundle, on their doorposts and on the lintel on top. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, If I will pass over, I will jump over your homes on the night of Makas Bechorus. The question is, if Makas Bechorus affected every single home in Mitzrayim, why were the Jews speared? Explains the Maharal in Perak Samach in Givuris Hashem. That there is something called an embassy. It might be in another country. But when you walk into the land of that embassy, you are walking onto the land of the country represented by that embassy. It's not part of the country that it's in. The Jewish people on that night, by putting the blood on their doorposts, they symbolized our homes are no longer part of Mitzrayim. Our homes are embassies of Hashem. This is our Mesira Snefesh. We are not part of this country anymore. We are part of Hashem and no longer part of Mitzrayim. And that's why they were speared on that night. HaKadosh Baruch Hu truly destroyed every home and the heart of every firstborn in every home. But the Jewish people's homes were no longer part of Mitzrayim. And therefore, they were no longer, they could not be affected by Makas Baholos. We live in a world, we live in a society which is so antithetical to our values. Our homes have to be embassies. When we walk into them, they're islands of Kedusha. They might physically be in other countries, but the Kedusha inside of them is the Kedusha of Eretz Yisrael and of holy places.